to all today we are going to discuss a very important topic named as taxonomic categories normally what happens that this topic is studied in the beginning right but many times the students are not concentrating on this topic they take it as casual but you can see right from the 11th 12th neat okay rs is up to is also the taxonomic categories are asked okay so it is simple topic but very very important regarding the examination point of view okay so today we will be discussing the taxonomic categories so before starting this taxonomic categories we must know that what is taxonomic hierarchy what is taxonomic hierarchy when we are studying the taxonomic categories you must know the taxonomic hierarchy what is taxonomic hierarchy means we will be studying the categories in a definite manner see for this is the taxonomic hierarchy first of all the basic unit that is the species first we study the species then after species we study genus after genus we study family after family we study order then the class then the phylum or division and then at the last the kingdom so the highest category right taxonomic category is the kingdom and the least one least category is the species so this represents a particular taxonomic hierarchy first comes again i am repeating the species then the genus then the family then the order then the class then the phylum or also what it is the division and then the kingdom are you getting so now see here what is taxonomic hierarchy the system of organizing organism it is a system of organizing the organisms in a definite sequence of various taxonomic categories okay repeating again what is taxonomic hierarchy it is the system of organizing organisms in a definite sequence of various taxonomic category is called as taxonomic hierarchy means this is the taxonomic hierarchy species genus family order class phylum and kingdom fine now each category each category means species genus family these are all taxonomic category each category is referred to as a unit of classification each taxonomic category whether it is species genus family order class phylum or kingdom each category is referred to as a unit of classification represents a unit of classification it represents a rank and is commonly called as a taxon so all these are what the taxons so each category referred to as a unit of the classification which represents a rank and is commonly called as taxon so all these are taxons okay now the what is the what is the need of this taxonomic hierarchy or what is the need of this taxonomic categories see here the basic requirement to place an organism the basic requirement to place an organism in various categories is the knowledge of the characters of an individual okay the basic requirement to place an organism in a uh, various category is the knowledge of the characters of an individual or group of organisms and this helps in identifying the similarities and the dissimilarities among the individuals of the same kind of the organisms as well as the other kind of organisms are you getting what i want to say again i am repeating the basic requirement to place an organism in various categories taxonomic categories is the knowledge of the characters you must have the knowledge of the characters of an individual or a group of organisms which will have been identified the similarities and dissimilarities among the individuals of the same kind of organisms as well as the other kind of organisms okay now before starting this taxonomic categories you must also know that as we go higher as we go higher that is when we move from species towards the kingdom the number of the common characteristics goes on decreasing the number of the common characteristics goes on decreasing means here in species genus and all you will be having more number of the common characteristics but as we move from species towards the highest taxonomic category that is the kingdom the characters the common characteristics go 
goes on decreasing means the common characters are more here and the common characters are less here okay now let's have a look on these categories there are how many seven taxonomic categories species genus family order class phylum and kingdom okay now first one species and second one is genus you might have heard about some botanical names say for i am representing a name magnifera indica it is a botanical name of the mango so this magnifera word is the genus while the indica magnifera indica indica word is the species okay so what does species represent species represent a group of individuals with similar morphological characters again i am repeating what is a species a species is a group of individuals species is a group of individuals with similar with similar morphological characters which are able to breed which are able to breed among themselves and they can produce their own kind they can produce their own kind right such a group of individuals is called as what the species what is a species a species is a group of individuals which is having similar morphological characters which are having the capacity to breed among themselves and they can produce their own kind this is called as what the species fine now coming to a little bit higher category of the taxonomy and that is known as the genus what is genus it is a group of related species right many species always remember many species forms a genus okay so group of related species but remember the species must be related to each other group of related species which resemble one another group of related species which resemble one another in certain correlated characters again i am repeating group of related species which resemble one another which resemble one another in many correlated characteristics such a group of related species is called as the genus means in nutshell i can say that many species many related species combine together to form the genus fine now coming to the next higher taxonomic category that is the family now a family includes one or more related genera means one or more related genera right together forms what the family so it includes one or more related genera a family includes one or more related genera differentiated from other related families differentiated from other related families by certain characteristic differences right and it is called as a family what is family it includes one or more related genera differentiated from the other related families by certain characteristic differences is called as a family fine so it is now clear that species combine to form genus and many genus combine to form family now coming to the next higher taxonomic category and that is known as the order now what is order a order include one or more related families means a order is composed of one or more related families when one or more related families right together includes what a order means a order can have one or more related families okay now families combine to form what the class so the next higher category is the class it includes one or more related orders so many orders one or more than one orders can combine together to form a, another taxonomic category and that is called as what the class fine now coming to the next category and that is known as the phylum now uh, this phylum word it's not uh, used by the botanist the botanist instead of using the term phylum use the term division so when we will be talking about the plant classification we will be not using the term phylum instead we will be using the term division say for when we study the animal kingdom now so we uh, we never say that polyphyla division we say polyphyla phylum centrita phylum tinophora phylum let here it is phylum like that okay so a phylum includes all organisms belonging to different classes means a phylum includes all organisms belonging to different classes having a few common characteristics okay means many classes can form a phylum or a division botanists use the term division in place of the phylum okay so a phylum includes organisms 
which are belonging to different classes many classes can form a family and the topmost category taxonomic category i can say the highest taxonomic category is the kingdom and the kingdom includes all organisms kingdom includes all organisms that share a set of distribution common characteristics what is kingdom it includes all organisms that share a set of that share a set of common characteristics or common distribution characteristics say for if i can say that plants from outside are recognizable that they are plants animals from outside they are recognizable that they are animals so we can say this that plants are kept in plant kingdom while animals are included in animal kingdom so we can say that this is the highest taxonomic category so always you must remember that when we are studying the taxonomic categories you must study in this order only first you will study the species then the genus then the family then the order then the class then the phylum and at last that in the end one thing to be remembered is that that when we move from species to kingdom the common characteristics goes on decreasing right means in the species there will be more common characteristics in the genus there will be little bit less characteristics and like this so the characters goes on decreasing okay so today we have discussed about the, the taxonomic categories in the coming time we will be discussing in the coming videos we will be discussing with many uh, topics related to the taxonomy so thanks a lot for watching